What's good, YouTube? Level 92 here, back again once again. And tonight, people, tonight, we're here for episode number 14 of Late Night Crystal. Late Night Crystal is, in fact, a Pokemon Crystal randomized Nuzlocke here on the channel. In the last episode, you guys, we went and explored the wonderful, wonderful, wonderfully nostalgic Lake of Rage and uh, encountered a randomized shiny Gyarados, which means it was another Pokemon that was shiny but it wasn't a Gyarados or was it I guess you have to go back to the last episode to find out <laughs> anyways you guys tonight I think we're gonna have another chill episode on our hands I think we're going to head up in Rachel no 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 I don't have time to chat mm -mm -mm. nope 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 not happening we did this last episode sorry not today, but I think tonight we're going to have a nice chill episode heading into the Mart here and dealing with Team Rocket since, I mean, they were messing with the Magikarp at the lake last night. I mean, I guess we should pursue that, you know, like the good, righteous Pokemon master that we are stopping crime and evil in its tracks. Uh, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> If you guys are hyped for some more late night crystal, and of course, we're gonna show you support for Prime and the Happy Nation. Make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Now, let's get a quick team recap for you guys. I say we're gonna have a chill night tonight because I think that Team Rocket's not gonna be too challenging down here. I think this is gonna fall under that same um, purview of like you could do this like right after the fourth badge so it's like around the, those levels so i think jasmine's probably going to be the toughest thing we fight until price maybe i think anyways we have winnie the earth ring at level 40 look at that delicious attack stat rocking her pretty polka dot bow uh with strength <laughs> slash cut and lick up next we have sauron sauron our Houndoom at level 40 holding the charcoal rock and bite ember smog and faint attack up next we have lady ramla lady of the reach our crowbat at level 40 look at that speed that's ridiculous ridiculous holding the omni the coin rock and wing attack flight flight bite fly and confuse ray oh my goodness then up next we have the newest member of our squad xavier our hypno i like that special defense we need to get him an item. He's rocking confusion, headbutt, poison gas, and hypnosis. Then up next we have Judy, our Rhydon. That attack and defense, oof. The rest don't even matter. That attack and defense just, oof. She's holding the quick claw, rock and stomp, horn attack, horn drill, and fissure. That's just how we play on Late Night Crystal. And then last but certainly not least, we have our starter. He's been with us since Late Night Yellow. We have Winston the pirate our kingler at level 42 that attack and defense is crazy uh, but he's holding on to the pink boat rocking strength surf stomp and guillotine because we get down like that on late night yellow late night yellow late night crystal anyways that mess up just made me forget he's 134 and winnie is 119 Ooh, yikes whoa whoa yikes so yeah, I guess we're in the process of trying to get our squad up to 42, you know, so we can level them up evenly. So Winnie is up next. Whoa, 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 whoa! Dragonite Hyper Beam! What took you, Navi? Just as I thought, that strange radio signal is coming from here. Yeah, get him out the way. Look how goofy he looks. The stairs are right here. Navi, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. Why? We're going to the same place. Hey, bud, what do you have to say? You found the secret stairway. Oh, yeah? Ugh, that guy's dragon Pokemon are tough. Whoa, but you know what? It's nice to see a champion out here putting in work. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, intruder alert. So, um, Fortununk. We are going to stomp all over these dudes. But you know what? Like I said, that just means we're going to have a nice, chill, late night episode. Surveillance cams are in the statues. Hoo, hoo, hoo. 
Nice chill late night episode. It's kind of like we're doing grinding and progressing in the game at the same time. <laughs> I mean, I'll just click strength and wipe each and every one of these dudes out each time. Why not? But more importantly, I really want to know what items. There's no items down here? Nothing? I want to know what items are in here. I need to see what this TM is. It's calling me more than anything else. And look at this. I told you. It's like grinding. It's like they just want to come up and just get smacked. Oh, well, we need to go heal. Do they reset if you come back out? Because we're all out of strengths. <laughs> I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs> well, I think we should pop that in the PC for now. Just for now. Um only because we have an issue with item space in the bag and we have a charcoal and that's not something that we can give to Xavier either so like what the frick why do you want to fight bro this was once a ninja hideout there are traps to confound intruders like you what trap oh he means the little checkerboard shit I don't know who they confusing but they ain't confusing me so let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. In last night's episode of Late Night Crystal. You may have remembered that on our way to the Lake of Rage, our encounter, first encounter on that route, was a Magmar. A level 15 Magmar, to be specific. And a lot of people were like... Oh my god, Nappy, I can't believe you master balled Magmar. Just say that sentence out loud. <laughs> Do you really think I wouldn't master ball a Magmar? <laughs> uh, it's late night crystal, okay? Could I have caught that with a great ball? Maybe. But it's late night crystal. Wow. Maybe I want to say I master balled a Magmar. You know? I think it's better than saying I master balled a muck. <laughs> I mean, at least I like magma, goddamn. Well, okay, wait, no, I can't say that either, because then everybody will assume that I don't like muck, and that is not the case at all. I do like muck. Muck is actually really dope. He's really cool. He's really great. Um, it's just magma is like top five. Whoa. Is it time to bring back top five? <laughs> Has the top five changed? No, wait, stop. Don't get any ideas. Don't get any ideas. The top five series that we started a while back will will return one day. I will tell you that much. A soft sand. You know, did we already have a soft sand? We did. But we need to wait for whenever the hell Judy's going to decide to learn Earthquake. She's just been sitting here with her horn up her ass. Wait, I want to see this. No, 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 stop, Winnie, stop. Look at that horn. <sighs> yeah. Judy knows what's up. But, I mean, the whole puzzle thing doesn't matter because you can just go down this way and dodge the whole thing, right? Right? It doesn't really matter. Please don't poison me again. I would really appreciate it if you would stop doing that. Because uh, we only have so many antidotes, bro. And I know that you're superiors. But I really want to fight that guy in the front, though. Yeah, this motherfucker right here, bro. Go cool. Take another step. Take another step. I dare you. Dang. Dang. Look at these Xavier. <laughs> Xavier. <laughs> oh. Okay, hey, like I told you, we are grinding and making progress at the same time. What can I say? But wait, I'm gonna put Faith. No. Doesn't like Lance heal you or something like that? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can't you get an encounter here? In this little maze thing? So this counts as the Team Rocket hideout, and then we get the electrode encounter as well down here because that's a static encounter we get one of them 
Right? I just remember at the last second. Oh yeah. That sounds like an onyx. Did we just get an onyx? How you doing, big boy? Kingler, Rhydum, Cargo, Mankey, Chameleon, Woobert, Bellsprout, some Floor, Crobat, Goldbat, Houndoom, Elegate, Carcanal, Teddy Ursa. We do have seven the Onyx already. So this is dupes. How the fuck can I not escape from an Onyx? Oh, there's a Pokeball next to the Onyx's name. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Get him out of here. And Ekans though? D I d I did, we did we have we? Kingler, Ryder, Bacargo, Mankey, Tramilli, Wooper, Bellsprouts. <laughs> Is this guy gonna do this every time? Um, Cyndaquil, Snorlax, Drowsy, Diglett, Magmar, Scootaloo. Okay, no, we do not have an Ekans yet. So, we are going to attempt to capturize this Ekans. How? How are you confused for one turn and then confused no more? Um. See, to, see, to me, this is an Ekans. Like, I feel like I should be able. Oh, I can't swap him out. Ramla can't be recalled. I feel like any attack I use is gonna be too strong. I need the Ekans to hurt itself. Hey, yo, and can you? chill out with this whatever you're doing over here to Ramla chill with this Ramla is confused I mean not Ramla Ekans is confused no more excellent excellent work so we snagged ourselves an Ekans we can add Ekans to our uh, late night crystal pokey <laughs> Well, hello there, hi ho there. It flutters the tip of its tongue to seek out the scent of prey, then swallows the prey whole. Wow. Um, very descriptive for what a snake actually does. I mean, I get it snake backwards, but still. Should I just call this thing snake? <laughs> Instead of Ekin? Do I just call it... Snake instead of Ekans. Ekans is his name. Ekans is his nickname. I'm not gonna call it Snake. Uh, oh, it's a lady snake. I mean, it's 2023. She can make her name whatever she wants. I really want to call it Doug, but <laughs> it's a lady Ekans. Um, what is the Equivalent to Doug Ursula. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know where this name came from either, but we're gonna go with Ophelia. I don't know where these names come from. You know, I used to never, I know I've said this before in the past. Uh, Let's Plays on the channel. I used to never, ever... Oh, I would have loved to have gotten a fucking job. I used to never nickname my Pokemon when I was growing up playing it, playing this game, playing any Pokemon game. I would never nickname them. And then the whole Nuzlocke thing, like playing them on YouTube, people are like, yeah, 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 it's a Nuzlocke rule. You have to nickname your Pokemon. So, honestly, that's why for the longest time when people would respond positively to like nicknames like Drax and things like that I just went with it because I was like okay that's another Pokemon I ain't gotta come up with a name for at all we good to go but I don't know I kind of like just pulling random ass names like I feel like I really like these names because I feel like nobody on planet earth has ever had Ophelia the Ekans <laughs> Are you alright? Your Pokemon are hurt or tired. Here, give them some of my medi medicine. Nappy, let's give it our best for Pokemon. Hey, you know what? You cleansed our team. Let's cleanse ourselves real quick. We have our nightly pocket by Angelou Wisdom here. We are nearing the end of Chapter 1, Self Empowerment. I think we only have a few nights left. But tonight's quote is... 
Nothing can dim the light that shines from within. Nothing can dim the light that shines from within. I like this because it reminds me a lot of a quote from a previous episode. If you're always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. Nothing can dim the light that shines from within. Hot damn. Hot damn. You know, I I really wanted to add these. I think it's just because it's the self-empowerment section, but I really wanted to add these to the late night because I feel like it fits the vibe, you know? Um, But some nights, they're just deeper than others, and I'm like, chill, my chill. What the hell? (laughs) That's literally in the name of the series. Chill. Just chill. But I've seen you guys saying that you enjoy the quotes and whatnot. So if you guys are enjoying them, and I'm enjoying them, then we won't keep doing them. I'm coming for you. Look at you up there. Chill out now, boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. The door won't open. <sighs> they always be doing this. Always be doing this. You know... I miss Veronica. I miss Veronica because I really miss the option of playing with a Mr. Mime. I feel like I've done that like once in the past before. I don't know. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. It takes two passwords to get into the boss's quarters. Those passwords are known only to a few rockets. That rocket there very graciously told me so. Nappy, let's let's go get the passwords. Uh, the guy in the cave is incredibly tough. Hell yeah, bro. It's a motherfucking OG. L-A-N-C-E. Don't you ever forget about it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Somebody at Game Freak had to have known this looks like a rubber chicken. Like, I don't, I'm not even trying to be mean or anything like that. But I mean, literally, it looks like a rubber chicken. What the fuck, Moltres? <sighs> Top five worst sprites? That's probably like number eight. Maybe an honorable mention. I'm sure there's a lot of goofier ones out there like Venusaur. Venusaur's back sprite from Gen 1. Oh, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? That guy probably got a raise too. Sentry, get him out of here. Bro. What the fuck? How do you have a Moltres just chilling here, dog? Do I know the password? Maybe. But no weakling's going to get it. So you're saying if I whoop your ass, you will give me the password. Whoa, 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 chill, chill, chill. I know you're going to pull this dude out. Oh, we can't go to the sun, huh? I know you're going to pull this dude out and click Stone Edge on me. And I'm not trying to have that happen. Look at all these delicious items. They're just sitting around waiting for me to pick them up. Ooh, wee, another park ball. Okay, wait, there's a staircase here in that distracts me heal powder elaborate use more words cures all status problems bitter ew ew I don't want that I don't want Pokemon to like me I don't care that Pokemon are hurt by our experiment yes but do you know the password that's what I want to know do you know do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to watch Shrek again now. I have to watch Shrek again sometime soon. I want you guys to know we have a new series coming to the channel soon. Um, if you have not been... Damn, both heavy balls? I didn't think I'd find a pair of heavy balls in tonight's episode. <laughs> oh boy. Um, but yeah, if you hadn't been paying attention to Renegade Platinum, we are nearing the end. So that means that it's time for a new series to arise and take its place. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm just saying I've been working on it a bit for the past couple days. And, you know, it's really weird. Every time I've ever gone to start a project, it's like it doesn't matter how much preparation I have. 
it doesn't matter how long I've been working on it or this or that or whatever like the day before is always hectic <laughs> it is always like I have forgotten one thing or another there is some aspect of it that I didn't think about until now um well I shouldn't say every single time there have been times in the past where I was very very prepared for LPs we do not have TM34 registered yet TM34 is survey says Kinesis oh wow excellent X Ex excellent I mean right excellent right Kinesis I mean we love Santa Tech so why not why not why not why not? So what you're telling me is these electrodes are shocking the... No, the electrode are powering the radio signal that is messing with the Magikarp in the Lake of Rage. Why is Silver here? What the fuck? Didn't I tell you that I was going to destroy Team Rocket? Tell me, who was the guy in the cape who used Dragon Pokemon? My Pokemon were no match at all. I don't care that I lost. I can beat him by getting stronger Pokemon. It's what he said that bothers me. He told me that I don't love and trust my Pokemon enough. I'm furious that I lost to a bleeding heart like him. I don't have time for the likes of you. He just pushed us. Like, that wasn't like the classic, like... Where they push you to the side so they can walk past you. No, he haul, whole ass hauled up and pushed. Up. What the fuck? Oh, I'm glad they took him out the game. That's too violent. <laughs> Hold on. Did I just see what I think I saw? A twisted spoon? At a time like this, when we need an item? For one of our Pokemon? Hell yes! Give this Twisted Spoon to Xavier. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now everyone has an item. What was it? Was it six rings for the Elven Lords? Or six rings for the Dwarven Lords? <laughs> well, everyone got their rings now. <laughs> but we still don't know the password. It needs two passwords to open. Oh, who's got the password? I got wiped out in the last mission by a kid too. When we were abducted, Pokemon on this kid with long red hair and mean looking eyes just crammed me. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> oh my goodness, god damn. So, where was I? Yes, I've been working tires tirelessly diligently day and night trying to get this new series up and off the ground ready to go but it will be up very soon I promise you that much yuck 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 the password to the boss's room uh, I think it's Redicate tail I knew one of these gangsters around here had it so do we need to get both or can we just pull up on the thing now Where's Lance at? And these two passwords to open. Uh, Lance. Okay, so I know I spoke to him. I know I spoke to everybody in this here room. Ain't nobody passed him? No. That's the boss's room up there. That dude ain't talking to nobody. What about you, bro? Radio signal drives Pokemon mad. Nothing but success. I whooped your ass, right? Password to the boss's room is Slowpoke Tail, but it's useless unless you have two passwords. Hey, well, there it is. You know, now that I think back, she did say she would not give it to losers, and I didn't even think to ask her afterwards when we therefore proved to her that we were not a loser. Anyways, knock knock. <laughs> the door opened. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got spooked just now when Silver pulled up, thinking I was unprepared. Hey, hello. What? 
Who are you? This is the office of our leader, Giovanni. Since disbanding Team Rocket three years ago, he has been in training, but we're certain he will be back someday to assume command again. That's why we're standing guard. I won't let anyone disturb this place. Okay, bro. Come on, give me your best shot. You're supposed to be the best motherfucker up in here. Look at this dude, Sailor Robin. Bro. Oh. Give me massive late night yellow vibes. Episode one, late night yellow. But bro, how you know I was gonna have a flying type? Who tipped you off? Who tipped you off? Winston, come on back, my boy. Get rid of this geo dude. Get rid of this geo dude. I really, really wish that we could have gotten um, a whole squad up to 42 tonight. I think maybe we'll get Lady in. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go out to Ramla. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe we'll get Lady Ramla leveled up. Hell yeah. Mean look. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I, do, I just I just don't think so. I just don't think so. A fortress. Oh, perfect. 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 Oh my goodness, how perfect. Bide? I'm not playing that. I'm not playing that. I've seen this before. I've been here before. This is one of those lessons that you only have to learn one time. <laughs> and never again. I don't care if I would have okoed this fortress with this ember. I don't care. I was not taking any chances because you know, <laughs> if that would have happened, I would have gotten the absolute lowest of low rolls. I would have got whatever the reverse of a crit is. <laughs> it would have done half as much damage. <laughs> and that thing would have clicked by it and wiped out any one member on our squad. Knowing my luck? Absolutely. No, I can't let this affect me. I have to inform the others. Hey, bro, chill. Where are you going, dude? The password is Hail Giovanni. Alright, Mr. Murkrow. Doesn't that guy normally have a Murkrow? Isn't like uh, isn't this TM that's right here in Sacred Gold? Dark Pulse? Or something like that? Is that what it is in Heart Gold too? Isn't that weird? You just remember weird little tidbits <laughs> here and there. Shit that you haven't thought about in forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and, ever and then you just in your head one day bingo bango there it is Let's see wait oh it's for this door the door's closed the door opened hold it right there oh i thought that was lance oh, oh. we can't have a brat like you on the loose it's harmful to team rocket's pride you see However strong you may be, you can't take both of us at the same time. <laughs> Come on. Sorry, baby. Now get ready to be thrashed. Dang. Dragonite coming through. Hey, don't be so selfish. Spread the fun around. What? You had an accomplice? Where is your sense of honor? As the interim boss in place of Giovanni, I'll show you how wrong it is to meddle with Team Rocket. Oh, hey, the other guy is the lucky one. Cause this girl, she about to get waxed. Sailor Fortress. Damn, we didn't swap Ramla out. Fuck. We need to get sold on some draining as well. But Winston, you the only one. You the only one that can save us now. Wins in the motherfucking pirate. I just love it. Okay, perfect for Sauron. Okay, remind me to put him first next. He only needs a level and a half. That's it. Do we have a rare candy? <laughs> Get rid of the Eevee. Ugh, you are really strong. If you were to join Team Rocket, you could become an executive. Hey, where do I sign up? Sign me up. But you know what? I guess the only... I guess positive to forgetting Rama's there. She has the Amulet coin. 
You notice how much money I didn't get paid for these battles in tonight's episode? What the fuck? This hideout is done for, but that's fine. The broadcast experiment was a total success. It doesn't matter what happens to this hideout now. We have much bigger plans. You'll come to appreciate Team Rocket's true power soon enough. Enjoy yourself while you can. Well, that did it. We defeated all the Rockets here. But I'm concerned about the young guy I battled in the process. Sorry, Nappy. I saw how well you were doing, so I just hung back. Now all there is left to do is to turn off that odd radio signal. Is this the machine that's causing all the problems? I don't see a switch on it. We have no choice. We have to make all the electrode faint. That should stop this machine from transmitting that strange signal. It's no fault of the Pokemon, so it makes me feel guilty. Hey Nappy, let's split the job. And this is where I say, Lance, wait! He says, yes. You remember how you said there were no more rockets? Yes. And that's when, out of nowhere, Winston scuttles across the floor, claw raises out of the air, and it's like, you know, like the anime angle where it's like, you're right there, like Winston's point of view, like streaking across the room straight towards Lance's face, but it's Lance, so he doesn't, he doesn't falter, he doesn't wince or flinch or anything, he just stands resilient, watching as Winston the pirate scuttles across the floor, and in the last possible moment, out of nowhere, Dragonite, whatever his fucking cry is, like dragon tails Winston's claw psh, to the side and now the battle begins me on one side remember uh, the brand extension the battle royale they had in like 2008 or whatever it was and it was Big Show and Randy Orton left and they thought Raw won and Big Show pulled his shirt off and it was ECW that was me but with Team Rocket that's what I pull up off my jacket and it's red with a uh, red R, black with a red R. No, let's be real, it'd be white with a red R. You know what I mean? You have to find out what happens next time. <laughs> Wouldn't that be one hell of a fucking like series though? If you had a. I should write something like that one day. <laughs> like an event like this in Pokemon that is written with a different outcome like what if the player did join team rocket in that moment and betrayed lance and then lance let's say i, I don't want to say lance dies in this scenario or whatever but let's say like the player because you know we're like the chosen one you know like lance sees the potential in us and shit right so like what if we we're just so good that we end up whooping him and his dragonite's ass but you know what i mean then you could say well wait a minute he's the champion at this point and we are not at on par with the champion, but we're the chosen one, okay? Come on, come on, come on. This thing called plot armor. Have you ever seen Avatar? Like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So, anyways, we whoop his ass real good and escape. Or we could whoop his ass real, real good, and the radio signal could continue to go out. Leave this side to me. I was checking for items, bro. So, should we do one, two, or three? You can only keep one of them, but each one's going to be different though, right? I think I'm gonna go with the middle one. Which one was one, which one was two, and which one was three? We get all these crazy ass water types. But we are we will remain loyal to Winston the Pirate. We will. Oh my god. A Kingdra? A Magmar? I'm just saying, listen to this. Kingdra? I mean, I know, I know I'm counting my chickens before they've hatched. We haven't caught the Kingdra yet. But Kingdra, Magmar, Crobat, Houndoom, Ivysaur. <laughs> uh, we have. Oh, never mind. We don't. Uh, what did I say? We could have the slap right on on there too, and Dragonair. Oh my God! What a team! What a fucking team! And that's all 
in our PC. <laughs> well, not the crowbat. Romla is here. Um, but we can't, we can't betray Winston. But even then, that's just six Pokemon that I randomly pulled. We still have a Charmeleon. We have a fucking uh, Elekid. We have a Croconaw. An Onyx. Didn't we find a Metal Coat? Did we get one? A uh, Cyndaquil. A Snorlax. A Diglett. Yeah, we have so much power in the PC. Yo, I'm writing this down right now. Because I know that we're catching this hope. Um, I'm going to confuse Ray it. I wish that we still had somebody that could do something, but we don't. I'm just afraid that a lick from Winnie is gonna be too much. I think it'll be too much. I mean, poison gas with Xavier, but I'm just spooked. I'm spooked. I'm spooked. I don't want to ruin the encounter. And I feel like as long as you're playing it safe, you can't ruin the encounter. You know what I mean? Okay. How heavy is Kingdra? <laughs> hooked by a rod? Does this count? I mean, technically it's hooked up to something. It's powering a radio broadcast. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, this is why I wanted to... Oh no. Confused no more. Okay. Wow, that kind of sucks though. We definitely need to get some more Pokeballs after this. I know we got money. Like I told you, I've been watching all the money we've been getting over the episode tonight. Just in case I'm forgetting, I can poison it with poison. Oh, we have hypnosis. Holy fuck, 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 shit, fuck. How do you forget? I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to play anymore. And I realized just now, I said Kingdra at the start of that team and ended it with Dragon Hands, two Dragon. But it doesn't matter, we're not getting the Kingdra anyways, thanks to my obsession with the speed up button. I just sped up too fast and clicked Confusion instead of going to Hypnosis, so... Wow, what a mulligan. Forgetting that I had hypnosis to begin with, and then accidentally clicking confusion and bodying one of the best encounters. We're just not meant to have a Kingdra. Renegade Platinum, we had a chance to get a horse, he couldn't catch it. And now we have the chance to get to be just. I just. I just want to use a Kingdra. <laughs> I mean, I can't blame anybody but me. That was my fault. This was a fucking Tyranitar! We have a Kingdra, a Tyranitar? What the fuck is going on? And what's this last one? Is that Chansey? Oh, a Clefable. I wouldn't mind at that. Stupid, stupid, nappy. Stupid, nappy. That old signal has finally stopped. The lake should be back to normal. You're the hero. Let me thank you on behalf of all the Pokemon. Oh yes, you should take this. I found it here, but I don't have any need for it. HMO6. That's Whirlpool. Teach it to a Pokemon to get across wild water. But keep this in mind. You can use that out of battle only with the badge from Mahogany Gym. Nappy. The journey to becoming the Pokemon Master is long and difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? I see. No, you're right. If you would give up that easily, you would have never chased that dream in the first place. I look forward to seeing you again. I'm checking my deuces up. Yeah. Well, god damn. Could I have fucking Kendra? Fuck that up for sure. Well, I guess we need to get the badge from Mahogany next. And then once we do that, we can visit the World Islands actually and maybe 
quite possibly go fuck up another encounter. <laughs> but I guess the best news from tonight's episode is that A, Team Rocket has been rid from Mahogany Town, and B, we got a majority of our team up to level 42. So the next episode, Sauron is next up to get grinded up. It's funny how Winston still has the lowest HP in the party, but it's our boy. Anyways, we're going to go and wrap up tonight's episode here. I guess tomorrow night we're headed into the Mahogany Town Gym. I think we're going to rock out what we got right here. I hope that our team is on par enough. I imagine this gym would be... Can you technically do this gym after? Could you technically do this gym fifth instead of seven? I don't know. Anyways, hopefully we're good to go. Rachel, we started this fucking episode with you. No, we're ending the episode. We don't have time to chat. I don't care if you haven't caught a vile plume. Be gone. Don't call me no more. Anyways. Wrapping up tonight's episode here. If you guys enjoyed tonight's episode of Late Night Crystal, and of course, you want to show you support Prime and other Happy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Until next time, thank you so much for your love and light, and be safe. I'm out this bitch. Bye.